everybody. Hi, bud. There we go. Hi, bud. And with that, our 19 mile run begins today. That was awesome. We've never seen deer over here. It was uh, interesting. So it's Monday. Long run Monday, as they say. Nobody says that. It is, ooh, later than I thought. Nine o'clock, which means we're gonna be running until 1.30 or two. <laughs> Yeah, stick around because we're going to a place we've never been before. We're going all the way to the lake. All the way to the lake. <laughs> we're going to see some sights. We're going to share them with you. So hang tight. Got a long way to go. Yeah. Woo. This is a new section we've never been to. We just finished the obstacle course, <laughs> climbing a wall section. <laughs> Trail, watch this. Thing. Wow, yeah. that was intense. Looking forward to the run back there <laughs> because this is apparently going to be six miles of obstacle. <laughs> didn't read <laughs> and the satellite map <laughs> I thought it was just like you know, gravel <laughs> well the lake's on the other side <laughs> really yeah wow we've never been here We just got to a sign that said, warning, steep trail ahead. Yeah. They I weren't think, kidding. I think we're gonna walk this one. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. This is gonna be really hard to go down. Yeah. Well, I'm maybe doing it sideways. Yeah. came up with this route. <laughs> <sighs> it looks so flat on satellite. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> Ouch! Oh shit, don't fall. <sighs> I'm serious, going down. It's gonna be a sidestep. <sighs> Wow. 
Wow. That was even steeper than Spice would have. Oh, you're right. Ah. Gosh. I didn't know that was possible. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at this one. Oh, yeah, here's the other side. <laughs> Slow down or walk, bike down, I think is what that says. Ooh. Yikes. That was rough. All right, back to it. to see a road runner on a very long run. He's big. He is big. They're big. <laughs> Come on, dude, run for us. Yeah. Come on, buddy. No, I'm tired. Nah. Oh, oh, oh. Look how Well, as the uh, famous Yogi Berra said, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. Here we are. Pretty sure we're going left. <laughs> oh, I like Georgetown. Hey, look at that. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Looks like uh, we ran out of trail. We're going to backtrack, see what happens. What are we doing? We're turning around. <laughs> Beautiful scenery, lovely hiking trail that we're on. Not super runner friendly. <laughs> okay, we're not lost. We just don't know where we're going. A little, a little bit. We're not lost, we just don't know where we are. Oh, that's right. We know where we're going. We don't know where we are. We don't know how to get there. <laughs> so we're taking our training to a whole nother level. And the marathon, as you may or may not know, uh, around mile 15, I think, somewhere in the teens, is the Walt Disney World sewage water treatment plant. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, as it turns out, on these many weird trails that we're running on, uh, this one leads to one of our fine city's water treatment plants. Sewage treatment plants. So, we're ready. Yeah. It didn't smell nearly as bad as no. the uh, Disney World one. No, but since it is a sewage treatment plant, we're going to affectionately refer to it as Dizzy Land. <laughs> All right. This trail running is crazy. Our ankles and knees are going to hate us for oh, this. Yeah. They're already kind of complaining. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I don't know if you can hear our footfalls 
It's just rocks and uh, gravel. Gravel road. Oh well. Kind of rough. Always an adventure. Okay, so we need to get back down there. We are almost at the halfway. Almost at the halfway point. Um, this is beautiful. Yeah. We're up on a dam that looks like a road, but it's cut off to traffic. There's ominously enough vultures flying all over the place, but I think we're safe. <laughs> For now. They're beautiful. Yeah. Quite a view. Very efficient flyers. Yeah. Hmm. All right. All right. We're uh, trying to figure out why there's so many vultures here. I think we may have figured it out. Somebody didn't make it. that I just said was blocking. We were all the way up there just a few minutes ago. Man, what an elevation change. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to attempt to go down this uh, very steep trail. Wish us luck. Why don't I uh, huh? hold on to you and we'll just kind of go down sideways with this. Okay, we'll see how, we'll see. We may be able to slowly walk it, but... Oh, it's really steep. <laughs> oh, my toes are in the <laughs> ends of my shoes. <laughs> Uncomfortably so. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Even walking up was really painful. Okay, back to it. We are at almost 11 miles. So we have about eight to go. We can do this. Hey. <laughs> okay. More hills. Yikes. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh man. Yikes. up slowing down uh, I don't know that was a I'm gonna say fun not in the sense that we're gonna do that run again uh, but in the sense that we saw a lot of really interesting sights yeah we did um, the first half of the run was a real beating yeah uh, physically uh, a lot of hills a lot of very rough terrain so it kind of took it out of us so we're taking it pretty cheesy yeah last part yeah they, they were they were it was pretty rough and the terrain i mean you know we had to be so uh careful careful because it was so rocky so it was more of a hiking mountain bike trail yeah uh so our joints are definitely feeling it but i mean here we are again pretty close to our 19 miles it was a beautiful first half i mean we saw deer uh, -huh. uh we were circled by buzzards yeah yeah right 
I mean, it, it was. Oh, a butterfly landed on my arm. I know, and I missed it. Yeah. Sorry. He saw it, but he didn't. Yeah. It. Yeah. Um. So you know our hydration seemed uh, pretty spot on, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. our uh, and our food. Our food. We'll talk more about that in the recap, but yeah. So far, so good. We we tried something new this week. Potatoes, and it seems to be doing the trick for yeah, me. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah and a uh, big important update for me. Uh, I don't feel like vomiting. Oh yeah. So yeah. You know we switched our. Propel. Yeah, we switched noon our. Is officially out. We switched the hydration. Yeah, noon. Thank you. No, thank you. Uh, so that's a that's a big bonus. Yeah. And uh, you know we're gonna do something we haven't done in a really really long time. So long. We're gonna go get pizza after this. At our old favorite, our pre-COVID favorite pizza place. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. So, I mean, we learned a lot today. We did a lot today. We did a lot today. And we saw just the brand new, beautiful <laughs> area. Oh man. And you know. Last night we recalculated the amount of time we have till marathon weekend. Uh, yeah. 30, Eight. 38 days until we leave. 38 days. Which is wild. That's pretty crazy. I can't believe. Yeah. That's the count, but it is. Here it comes. Yeah. Here it comes. So, thanks for joining. Stick around for a quick recap. Man, what a day. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, so like we said, pizza and beer. We've got the beer, we're waiting for the pizza. Yep. Hey, the pizza arrived. I'm very happy. Hey, hey, hey. so we are recording this recap on Saturday. And the recap is for the run that we uh, did on Monday. Yes. So as an interesting comparison point, you know, Monday we ran 19 miles, as you just saw. Mm -hmm. Today we ran 30 minutes and it felt somehow much worse than 19 miles. Yeah, it did. I, I didn't think I was going to make it through. So just uh, kicking off here with a little reminder that some days you'll feel like you can conquer the world and other days you feel like... Nah. Running's gonna do you in. So that was today, but on Monday we had an awesome run. Yeah, we did. We did. We really did. And and um, we we hope you watched it. It it was it started off it started off with a bang. Man, right? oh man. That, that deer was right there, and and that and was and right great. under the interstate, like a really yeah. weird place yeah, for a deer you could, to be. You know, some of that background noise you hear is actually the cars way above us on uh, the interstate going by. So that was a really nice start and. It was rough because it really was kind of trail running for a while. Some of the, the, the rocks and the, the grooves in the road were really kind yeah. of treacherous. And, and just to let uh, you know and a reminder, I have ankles made out of glass. <laughs> so so it, was, it was really kind of touch and go, yeah. uh, but it was great. It, it was exceedingly difficult. Uh, but um, And we got lost. We did. We got lost. And we, we ran, out of trail, ran out of trail. And we hit a like mud patch. And then we were on like just rock for a while. Yeah. And part of what happened was I could tell looking at satellite view of the park or of the lake that some of the trails were probably just like kind of beaten down by people walking, which is exactly what they were. Yeah. They weren't actual trails. So I initially thought like, mm, why don't we not go down those and we'll just, you know, run the safe stuff and then come back and then we'll have to do a bunch of laps around our usual park and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But when we got out there, we were feeling all right and also not really uh, super psyched about the idea of going back to the park and then having to run around a lot. Yeah. So we decided to just kind of keep running, yeah. see what happened. And that's how we ended up going down the wrong path, running out of trail, uh, at the sewage treatment plant. Um, Being circled by buzzards. Oh my gosh, that was wild. <laughs> yeah, They're it, beautiful, it, but... It was great. Uh, and, uh, uh, and holy mackerel, I, I know it's hard to tell in that video, but that one hill was, was hell. so it, steep. It was really, really steep. And, uh, and I even, you know, 
thought, well, maybe we could jot. No, there's no way, no way. But no. overall, we did our 19. Um, it was slower than usual, but we had, you know, we had a lot of stops. Yeah. We had to walk. It was kind of treacherous. And, and we still made it under the uh, minimum requirement mm -hmm. for a, a Disney marathon. So, you know, yay. We, we felt really good about it. We did. We, it we felt really it good. felt all right. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, it did. It, it, it was cool. And yeah. then, uh, you know, we treated ourselves to pizza and beer. So it was delicious. Yeah, it was. It was also a beautiful day. Uh, the weather was just perfect for it, mm -hmm. and our nutrition. So we tried something new on this one. Yeah. And, and it worked out really, really well. Yeah. So what we have been doing, which we still did this time, mm -hmm. um, was we we kind of alternate between uh, Jelly Belly sport beans. And these little like oatmeal, peanut butter, honey, raisin balls that we make. Um, I was reading online though, somebody, it's like this, you know, group that I belong to. Um, somebody was seeking advice on what to eat if you're just like sick of sweet stuff after a certain mile marker. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they just said they couldn't stomach anything else like sweet. And they, they also prefaced it by saying, yes, yes, I know everybody says do pretzels. But I also can't like get pretzels down while I'm running. So I paid attention to that thread. And in that thread, there were two suggestions, one of which we tried on Monday, the other of which we may try. They both seem like they'd be pretty good for us um, because of our palates and also, you know, just what we're looking for. Um, one of them was olives. That's the one we didn't try, but we might. Just little like salt bombs, you know, for yeah. uh, uh You know, the cool part saying. about olives is you can stick them on your fingers. So, you're, you know, you run in and... <laughs> Probably not a good um, one. <laughs> uh, so the other one was potatoes. Um, and we love potatoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we just, we sliced them up uh, like little wedges mm -hmm. and uh, popped them in the air fryer with some salt and some Pam, some cookie spray. Mm -hmm. And they were awesome. They, we just like, so instead of alternating between the oatmeal balls and the uh, sport beans, we just had like three going. And just kind yeah. of, you know, as needed, just eat something. And we ended up like, I felt great. Yeah. Yeah. It was and like that extra, sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> that extra starch was what we needed. <laughs> just some extra carbs. Go. No, no, I forgot. No, you didn't. No, they're really cool too because, you know, we air fried them. So, that, you know, they're not all uh, greasy, oily. Uh, we put just the right amount of salt. Uh, they're light. They fit in a little mm -hmm. uh, Ziploc bag. Uh, they weren't cumbersome and and it really was nice to go savory mm -hmm. sweet because the uh oatmeal raisin uh, peanut butter balls Sugary. they're fantastic but yeah. you know they're really sweet uh the sport beans they're also very sweet kind of chewy so it was nice to get this kind of savory uh starchy thing yeah. and uh that we ate all of our food yeah. for, for the entire thing felt really good uh at the very end once we were done and we had you know maybe a couple of miles to go we got really, really hungry, but, yeah. you know, we had a couple miles to go. So uh, that worked out really well. Mm -hmm. And then also, as we mentioned in the video, uh, goodbye noon. Uh, I didn't throw up on Monday. Yeah, yeah. And didn't feel nauseous. Yeah, didn't I was totally like fine. So, so it noon had to was the culprit. Noon. Yeah. And, and here's the deal. Noon is good. Uh, noon works. Lots of people love it. But the thing it is, just made me sick. yeah, we think the, the that kind of carbonation that that effervescent tablet creates in the water bottle was kind of uh, missing. It also made my water bottle leak. Oh, yeah, that's right. My water bottle didn't leak this time with the pill. Oh. Yeah, you know, the pressure it's building, mm -hmm. you know, after it, after it dissolves, there's still kind of this uh, carbonation in there. We think uh, it, you know, as we're running, you know, the bottles are shaking and, and the, the water bottle started leaking, but not with uh, the Propel. Mm -hmm. or, or not with just water. So yeah. uh, that worked out really well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, uh, we tried some new things before the marathon. Then yeah. we tried something new on race day. Yeah. And uh, this is working out really well. Next up, we're going to start working on... Costumes. So today, later today, we have... Um our accordion recital that our instructor's making us do, yeah, right. which if the video turns out, we'll post that as well if yeah. anybody's interested in that. But basically, long story short, we've been like practicing a lot, using up a lot of our spare time mm -hmm. getting ready for that. Mm -hmm. So now that today is here and this afternoon, that's gonna be over, I can start in on our- Because we leave- five weeks away. In five weeks. The marathon five is five weeks. weeks from tomorrow. That's crazy. So, 
Wow. Let us know how you're doing. We are so excited. We're getting closer and closer. One more long run mm -hmm. for us. And then our uh, training program has us tapering down. That's exciting. Yeah. We are thrilled. Hope you are too. Always <laughs> an adventure with you.